Hey there, boneheads. This is Randy Lidke, your host of this intro, giving you always the, the best intros in uh, the business, always exactly the right amount of intro, um, just giving you what you need and not what you don't, and then right when it's done, uh, we move right into the podcast. So that's great. <clears throat> this episode, we have Kurt Brownler, a very funny comedian from uh, used to be from New York, now lives in Los Angeles. Uh, he ran a, a weekly show in New York, and now it's in L.A. called Hot Tub with Kristen Schaal. I just did it last week, I think. It was great. What a great show. Wow. <laughs> he, uh, he also has a podcast called The K, I think it's called The K Hole, but it's spelled K space O-H-L-E, and it's great. Check it out. It's on the Nerdist Network. Uh, but just search the K hole, but spell it K space O H L E. Um, you'll get to know him in this podcast if you don't already know him. Um, coming up, I will be in New York. Actually, when this podcast is posted, I will already be in New York. So, um, oh, someone's calling me. My girlfriend's calling me. Hello? Yeah. Uh, did she stop by already? No. She's going to stop by to pick up the red check. Oh, okay. It's an, an envelope addressed to them with, um, in, my, in the tote bag, like on the back side of the couch. Okay. And if you could just pick, I, um, I already put a stamp on it, so maybe just take the checks out of the envelope. Uh-huh. Okay, save the stamp. Save the stamp. Okay. For next time. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. All right. So, yeah. Okay. He's probably going to get to be there any minute. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. bye. All right, this is Randy. Back to the intro. Uh, Brendan is going to be, oh, I'm going to be in New York. So, follow me on Twitter, at Randy Lidke, um, L-I-E-D-T-K-E to see all the shows that I'm doing. Um, this episode will be posted on Tuesday. I have a show on Wednesday that you should go to at Caroline, 7 p.m., Comedy Central Comics to watch. I'm one of the comics on that show. Come see me while I'm in New York. Um, and then I'll be there for a whole week, so uh, you have a chance to see me at a few other shows. Go see Brendan uh, November... What is it? November... 14th through 16th, the San Francisco Punchline in San Francisco. That's always a great time. And then also, um, big announcement, November 19th, we are having Matt Farley uh, on our podcast live, and we're going to be streaming it on Laughster. So go to Laughster, Laughster Laughster.com. I'm getting another phone call. Just a second. Hello, this is Randy. Oh, hey, can I call you right back? Uh, yeah. Okay, I'll call you right back. Okay, bye. Jeez, I'm getting a lot of phone calls. <laughs> Pretty cool. Pretty cool guy. I mean, I haven't gotten a phone call all day. I get two when I'm doing this intro. Okay, so back on track. This is Randy Licky doing the intro to the Bone Zone. Um, November 19th, Laughster.com. Matt Farley, the guy who sings all those fun songs that we play on our podcast. He's from uh, New England area, from uh, outside of Boston, I believe. He will be live in studio. So go to Laughster.com. Get your ticket to that show, November 19th. It's free. But once you click on it, um, that way they'll be able to remind you day of so you don't forget. And uh, there'll be incentives. It's a, it's a website that you, you basically... Um, can watch live but if you choose to you can also tip money to win incentives like one of a kind uh, special things like the last one we did we did autograph shirt or a uh, phone call stuff like that so go to laughster.com uh wow this intro has gotten pretty long because of the phone calls i think uh, all right we're gonna use it and uh, come see me while i'm in new york and uh, go see Brendan in San Francisco. Enjoy this podcast with Kurt Br- uh, Brownler. Uh, and uh, listen to his podcast, The K-Hole. It's a great one. Yeah, 
Should we use that fingering stuff at the... Uh, it's up to you. It's up to you. I'm trying to think if I have one. Greetings and salutations. This is, uh, what's that guy's name? Uh, fuck. Frank yep. Sinatra? <laughs> no, no. Guy the, with uh, no neck? Uh, the, hey, <laughs> greetings and salutations. This is Christian Slater from Pump Up the Volume. Thanks for listening to my pirate radio station. Doing a Jack Nicholson impression <laughs> for my whole career. Here's Christian Slater. <laughs> he was smooth, man. Like, like Cuffs, man? notoriously Cuffs cool. You right? remember Cuffs? I never saw it. Cuffs. Cuffs. I, I remember it being a good movie, but I don't remember anything about it. Oh, I thought that sounds like a name of someone's childhood dog or something. Yeah. Oh, I remember Cuffs. <laughs> oh. He died when we chained him to that rock. Yeah, Cuffs. <laughs> Took him swimming. <laughs> I Christian thought, Slater, is he doing anything? He just, uh, there was a thing in, I saw it online like last year, probably less than a year ago. He had like the worst box. He he had a movie released and it made $200. Oh, Oops. right. I saw that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> With, oh. I mean, in his defense, I think it was only released in like two theaters. But uh, but they weren't ten like, seat theaters. They were definitely a normal <laughs> size theater. And like two hundred bucks. That's fucking uh, yeah. That's probably not. Oh no, I Kurt's, guess it was uh, the tickets. Kurt's stuff. weekly stand up show makes more money than that. <laughs> 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 um, Kurt, what is he? You know how like every once in a while you see like a billboard that has like. They bought one billboard in L.A. and yeah. it's for a movie. Was it like one of those movies? I think it was something that was his. It was like his project. Yeah. But uh, yeah, two hundred bucks. Well, at least he can rest. You know, he's like, I can put that idea to bed now. No, yeah. That was. Everybody told me not to make it, but they were right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now I know. I mean, do you think he still has money? He must still have money. Heather's. Well, cuffs. I, he probably uh, <laughs> killing it with much. cuffs. Got that he cuffs wasn't. He was on a TV show. He had his own TV show for a little while, like recently or in the nineties. Yeah. No, within the last five years. Oh, I think. good. Maybe look him up. If you're a household name, I think that there should be some sort of like system of money. That's you know a I mean? really I weird just... level of fame. Like there are a lot yeah. of people. Well, like Irene. That um, there's a girl that, that I was hanging out with um, who was on the Real World. Um, like Remember Irene? Irene from the real world. Real world Seattle. She got slapped in the face. One of the biggest moments of television history. It was history. a huge, <laughs> like, it was really big because... Uh, a black yeah, guy slapped still... a white girl in the face. Oh. No, yeah, I don't remember. And it was before no. reality TV was out of control. It was like the early 90s. Yeah. Like yeah. probably 92. Yeah, that was like probably like season. the second or third one or fourth one. I think it was right after within San Francisco. The, within San Francisco was like six, the big yeah. one with the peanut AIDS. butter. Yeah, AIDS, peanut butter. <laughs> the guy who was the comic strip writer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, yeah, and Puck. And uh, I think Seattle was right after that. And um, either way, yeah, Irene's very recognizable. She got like curly black hair. She's just like recognized. If you yeah. watch that, and, um, and also I think that time of your life too, like it's all people around our age. So it's like, you just remember like, oh, before there were 9,000 television channels, we fucking made a thing about drinking and watching yeah. the real world. And she was living in San Francisco and fucking every time, like she got recognized more than like, if you were walking down the street with fucking Mitch Hedberg or well, that's, I guess he's dead, but. Uh, that would be amazing. But even like, I would even say, yeah, somebody like Patton Oswalt or something, yeah. I would say she got stopped like recognizer recognizer recognize because there, there's a or, level of like did we go to high school together yeah, yeah, yeah where it's like that deep in the subconscious yeah. like i know you yeah there were it was all types like there were you know would be at, we'd be at dinner and you would see somebody like that kind of side eye like okay that person you can tell they recognize yeah me um then some of the like yeah do i know you from somewhere but even sometimes you can tell those people are lying you know, like, like where they totally know who right. she is, but they're like, hey, you look for me. It's like, you know, fucking, you know. Yeah. 
Just uh, trying to, why don't you talk a little bit to me? Yeah, Maybe yeah. justify yourself. Yeah, yeah. It was season seven. I looked it up. Seven? Season oh, seven. Wow. But I, th- I feel like that's the very first real world that I saw any of. Like, I was like, I didn't have cable, but I saw it somewhere. I was, I was like, what is this show? You went and watched VHS it, yeah. tapes. Yeah. Where like they're selling TVs. You watched it from the, <laughs> while you were shivering. <laughs> it's Christmas night. You'd go to Silo. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then Christian Schley, what's his name? Schlatner. Christian Schlatner. Schlatner. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Schlatner. Has uh, three projects in post-production right now. Holy He's shit. He's working a lot. Still okay. pumping it out. One of them's pumped up the volume two. Turn it down a little bit, please. <laughs> it's a podcast now. <laughs> <laughs> I would like him to run just a science podcast. I don't know. He seems like a science podcast kind of guy. Let's, uh, let's pitch it to him. Yeah, let's pitch it to him. Can we get Christian Slater on the phone? I can uh, call a person that has a name that's similar. Yeah. Let's look do that. That. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> let's see. Christian. Uh oh. I the, mean, the see if name? there's a Christian Slater that we could call. I bet you there's a Christian Slater. Yeah. Or Chris oh, that's, Slater. Yeah, there's got to be. Or Slater, S L A D E R. I actually <laughs> might have. Uh... Yeah. You have his number? Yeah, actually. Wait, you have Christian Slater's phone number? Yeah, we did a... I had a meeting at his production company and... And you asked him for his phone number? I asked his assistant for his phone number. And she just gave it out willy-nilly. Yeah. Well, because I had a lot of heat at the time. (laughs) I was about to tape my half-hour special. Oh. Hey, is this Christian Slater? Uh, Are you you fucking serious? Yeah, hey, what's up, man? It's Brendan Walsh. We met at your production hey, company. You guys, I, I went the last time. So I guess what's happening is you're confusing me telling you not to call me for your podcast uh, without asking if I'll be on the podcast with me wanting to be on your stupid, half-baked podcast. What was and it like to make I, Heathers? Okay. Oh, I get it. So this is some ongoing gag where you're going to call me as different celebrities every time. And I'm at lunch again. Every time you call me, I'm enjoying a lunch and uh, or I'm volunteering. How much money you see from cuffs? Oh, that's a good question. Great question. Do you guys, I mean, do you advertise on your podcast? Uh, we can start. Yeah. Why you got something, you got something in the works? Yeah. No. Listen, that was a rhetorical question. I know that you advertise on your stupid podcast, and uh, that means that basically you're stealing from me right now, because the only reason people listen to your shitty podcast is because they want to hear you harassing me, because your sadistic fans get off on it. And um, yeah, I, I don't know. I'm sitting here enjoying dinner with my fucking brother who's in tears over my mom. And uh, I guess I get interrupted by my idiot friend. What happened to your mom? Did she get another breast enlargement and her tits exploded? That's pretty funny, Brendan. Because you know what happened to my mom. And uh, Mrs. Slater? And um, Randy, you stay out of this. You got Brendan, it. Brendan, do me a fucking favor, man. Don't contact me anymore. Don't tweet to any more, me anymore. Uh, I don't, if we're on a show together, cancel your spot. Don't come to the show, and I will do the same for you. And uh, I just don't want to talk to you anymore, see you anymore. You make me sick. You're a uh, user is what we call you in uh, the program. And I suggest that you start making amends as soon as you come to your senses and sober up from whatever shitty downward spiral you're on. Okay? Randy, I think you're fine if you keep doing this shit. I swear to God, man, the next time I see you, I will kick your fucking ass. And I promise you that. So you can both suck my dick, and I hope you both spontaneously combust tonight and uh, end up a smoldering, half-dead pile of paralytic asshole flesh. Okay? Do you keep in touch Happy with Winona Ryder? It's a good question. Great question. I have a question right after that. <clears throat> Hello? Oh, I guess he hung up. He must have He's probably lost the call. Hollywood Christian's meeting. mad. He's really been he's burned got, by Hollywood. He's a got lot. the fire though. That's good. Yeah, that's I, good. He does come off as still that guy you want to see. He's the underdog, you know. Yeah. He's like, yeah, I'm, I'm rooting for this guy. He's got an edge, that's for sure. Yeah, almost a poetic tongue as well. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we got that uh, celebrity call out of the way. That was pretty cool. Great. Put that in the title of the podcast. Yeah. That is it. cool. Yeah. 
Um, <clears throat> just a busy guy, though. I feel for him. You can't. Everyone has one day where you're kind of on edge, you know. I thought he seemed fine. Yeah, you think so. Yeah, he's he's, a, he's in a program, so that's great. I wonder what program it is. I don't know. Yeah, maybe it's some kind of acting thing. Yeah, like method or whatever. So, uh, so we have uh, Kurt Brownholer, Brown <laughs> Oler, Brown Oler, Brown Oler, Brown Oler, Brown Oler, Brown Oler, Brown Oler. It's easy. Do you hate it when people say it slightly wrong? I don't probably shit. used to. You get Braun Oler all the time. Braun Oler. Right? I get Braun Holer. I get Brown Holer a lot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that must have been great in school. You know what? No one ever fucking put it together. <laughs> Are you kidding me? No. You know what they would do? Granola. Oh, that's even better. That's not even that insulting. No, it is. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> no. It was just dumb kids. Granola. You couldn't get Brown Hole. I mean, Man. like I should have been beat up every day <laughs> and like have shit rubbed on my face for having a name like Brown Holer. Yeah, or they could shit in their hands and then shove their shit into your ass. <laughs> that's like the worst form of bullying. That would be the worst. Oh, yeah, they yeah, shit yeah. asked me. Yeah. Oh, man. I only got a little in there, but it's going to be great. <laughs> I wonder if anybody... There's got to be a website. For shoving shit in other people's asses? Yeah, shitting into each other's asses. Oh, there's a lot of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> <clears throat> so, um, what are you looking at over there, Randy? More Christian Slater facts? Uh, I'm trying to find his real number. <laughs> 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 Wait, that was a Christian Slater. <laughs> I, you know... Maybe it was his assistant. Yeah. Is it wrong to ask who that was? Uh, uh, Christian Slater. Yeah. I love Christian Christian Slater. Slater. (laughs) Yeah. yeah. That's what I thought. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. We'll have to call him again sometime. So uh, that was the podcast. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Uh, Go to kurtbrownoller.com for all uh, things Kurt Brownoller. Yeah. You can just Google Kurt Comedy. Kurt Comedy. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> is that your website? I'm the first listing on Kurt Comedy. You, you know when you search Kurt someone Comedy. and then comedy pops up there? Because sometimes yeah. there's there's an author. Sometimes yeah. there's a... Uh, yeah, yeah. You know, in my case, uh, nobody at all. Litgate. Lidkey. Randy Lidkey. I think there is like a, um, like a pastor somewhere. Lidkey? You look like a pastor. That oh, makes sense. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> um, pastor yeah. over for a dude. Pat passed over saw a chick and passed her over saw a chick who needed to get fucked passed her over for a dude in my case yeah okay <laughs> get it I, uh it's a gay joke yeah oh you know what i was you thinking about I, I have a day job okay yeah um and i've been real just real annoyed with everybody lately i know i came into your work today and and uh, I've been to your work. Brendan comes in. He's real like he he's always tries dick, to get me in he? trouble with my boss. Yep, what stuff like that. He always cunt. he always tries to file complaints. And I stuff told like that. his boss that Randy slapped my infant child in the face. <laughs> other there's other customers in the store <laughs> yeah, as yeah, well. That's why he I also said, "Hi, I'd like to file a complaint. Your employee told my wife she had nice honkers, <laughs> <laughs> stuff like that." My boss thinks it's funny, but then everyone that in the store stares right at me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like it. And it's a tiny store. Like, there's mm-hmm. definitely, you can hear everybody's conversation. Yeah. There yeah. was one day where I really caused a stink about my uh, my punch card, my 10th coffee not being free. And they don't do a punch there's card. There's no such thing. We yeah. don't have those. But then it gets other customers being like, wait, you guys have a punch <laughs> card? <laughs> but, uh, oh, yeah, gay people. Oh, yeah, they've gay, been pissing you off. Gay huh? guy came in today, and I was like, <laughs> nope, get out of here. <laughs> No, I was like, he just took forever. There was a gay guy that came yeah, yeah. in, and I was like trying. I was a like, a lot of gay guys. I was like trying to compile all of. Uh, I was trying to generalize gay people. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. In a big, you know, one big, big area, yeah. and be like, this guy was taking forever to order, and I was like, do all gay people take a long time to order? <laughs> and then I was like, you know what? Mate, I was like, I, I guaranteed it. I was like, yes, this is true. All gay people either take a long time to order, or they order really fast. Uh, <laughs> it's either one or the other. Yeah, and, and then, sometimes you're in between. Sometimes <laughs> it's a medium. Speed. And then in my head, I pictured a gay guy just re- order ordering regular, and I was like, ah, that could happen. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I was you were like, testing out stereotypes. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, oh, that is so true. 
they take forever or they take not at all. Speaking of stereotypes, maybe we should call a Best Buy and ask them what kind of stereotypes they have. <laughs> You're on. Or it's, uh, you know, this should be our Halloween episode. Yeah. Ooh. It's fucking like Halloween. Ooh. Yeah. I bet Matt Farley has some good Halloween music. What do you think? Oh, I bet he does. What would it be under? Oh, he had a bunch of like paranormal music, the paranormal band. Okay. We have a friend who um, has over 13,000 songs. Holy shit, I thought that was a car crash outside. <laughs> that scared the fuck that out of me That scared the shit out of me. But, I thought a car was going to come through and I, my chest was going to be plowed into your head and then it, like go yeah, into sorry. the next wall. I'm sorry, That guys. is amazing. That is a scare. Well, it's Halloween. It's ha- oh, that's perfect. We're supposed to be scared by thunder. <laughs> that's awesome. That may maybe scared the people at home, too. <laughs> Or, or those of you listening live, thanks for tuning in to our live streaming podcast. As you know, uh, you can get it every week live streaming here on the Bone Zone. It's also on TV, right? It's on. Uh, well, we do a video stream. See the cameras are yeah, there and there. Wave. They're tiny. Um, but uh, maybe we can. I don't know. I don't know if you guys are up for making some phone calls, but we could call Best Buys talking about stereotypes. Or we can call Halloween stores and just like really waste their time. Mm-hmm. I'm into both. Yeah, let's call it Best Buy. I was trying to find. Remember how that guy that we got a hold of twice? Colin. Yeah. At Best Buy. Yeah. In the we, Geek how Squad. How did you guys call Best Buy? We've called them a few times, but we ended up <laughs> accidentally just picking random Best Buys, and we got a hold of the same geek squad guy yeah and he's the best because he will not hang up on you yeah yeah (laughs) we were testing out our lie detector uh do you have that all hooked up over there oh yeah try well we have a lie detector you want to try it out yeah okay tell me something that's obviously true uh i i live uh in los angeles well it's true yeah um did you ever were you ever a professional cheerleader no wrong button (laughs) <laughs> well now you just ruined the, uh, you ruined everything <laughs> now the people at home know we don't easy have a real lie detector easy over oh no it's overheating just give it a second we oh, yeah, called no uh, oh, yep. we yeah. called a phone sex lady <laughs> we told her that we had a lie detector hooked up to the phone uh-huh. and uh, every we asked her her name and she said Sarah and we went eh, and we're like what's your name she's like well that's my actress name like people buy into a fake lie detector so immediately well, and we had already had like a little bit of phone sex with her before we introduced that so she told us what she was wearing she told us her name and then we went back with the lie detector test and we're like are you really wearing that sexy outfit and she's like yeah and it was like <laughs> and we're like what are you really wearing and she's like a nightgown a like coat. legit <laughs> nightgown <laughs> And the, our Geek Squad friend totally bought into it, too, oh, yeah. where he was like, I was asking him questions about his boss, and he's like, ah, come on, man, don't put me on the spot. And then yeah, I was like, like, do you like, like your job? And he's like, yeah, yeah, I absolutely love it. And he's like, no, 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 I wasn't lying. I wasn't lying. <laughs> and then he said to a guy off, he was like, I don't know. They're giving me a lie detector test over here. <laughs> you would think the Geek Squad would know. Yeah. Well, the be- it's impossible. The best one, the first well, one that we also, called. Also, if you have... Uh, an app on your phone that gives people lie detectors that you're talking to, why would there be an audible buzzing sound <laughs> that they can <laughs> to hear? To let them know. <laughs> the first one, the first place we called goes, uh, I don't think, we don't sell a lie detector. And then it, it buzzed. <laughs> and, Bryn, and then there was a long silence and Bryn's like, you sure about that? And then he hung up on us. <laughs> <laughs> so those of you at home, who haven't heard that episode? Oh, that was really a few nice episodes recap. ago. Yeah. yeah, I wish I could direct you to that. This could episode. be a recap episode. Oh. We could just tell Kurt. <laughs> just tell about me about all the things, things that you've done. done. Yeah, I'll enjoy them. Oh yeah, we, we didn't have enough time to do a real podcast this week, so we're just gonna like you know talk about some of the hits. <laughs> Maybe we could harass Halloween stores. Maybe that's a better. There's tons of Halloween stores that are jam packed right now, and we can just ask them tons of questions and try and keep them on the phone as long as we can. Maybe we could have a contest. Wait, I want to, uh, uh, let me, let me talk to the Halloween store and I'll just tell them that I'm, I'm broken and I want a refund. Okay. Yeah. Well, but here's the thing. Maybe we can make a game of it where each one of us calls Halloween stores Okay. and we can see who can get them to say, I'm really busy right now. <laughs> 
<laughs> the most because okay. they're all going to try to get off the phone because yeah. they're all really busy right yeah. now because Halloween's like a day away. All right, Kurt, you're up. I'm up first. All right. Okay. I mean, do whatever you want. You just have a good time. You guys want more? Thanks for calling Spirit Halloween in Town Square. This is Cheryl. How may I help you? Hi. How you doing today? Good. Thank you. Great. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm looking for some Halloween stuff. Do you carry Halloween stuff? Yes. Uh, do what, what kind of, uh, I'm specifically, like, I don't know exactly what I want yet. Like, what kind of Halloween stuff do you have? It's costumes, decorations. What kind of costumes? Do you have, like, um, do you have a nurse? Yes. Um, is it, what color is it? Sir, I have a lot of different costumes. You just have to come in and look. Um, like how many, how many, cause I don't want too much of a choice. Cause I, I, ca- I get a little overwhelmed when I see a lot of different stuff. How many costumes you would know, you say? You know, I have hundreds of costumes. There's no way I could sit here and tell you oh, all the costumes. Hundreds. That sounds like a whole lot. Uh, I would need some time. How long are you open till today? I'm open till nine. If I came in, could I get a chair to just sit on to be able to, you know, kind of look at them all? No. No? No. Uh, do you have anything in gray? Sir, you'd have to come in and look. I, I have a line of customers. I can't sit here and tell you every custom, every custom I have. Uh, could you just tell me one? Sir, you'd have to tell me what you're looking for, and then I could tell you if I have it or not. Uh, something like a blarn? I'm sorry? A blarn? Do you have like a, like a happy blarn or a funny blarn to wear? Sir, you just have to come in and look. Uh, Thank you. A garage? How many garages? <laughs> she hung up. Oh. I'd say that was about four. I mean, she did the one that she had a line of people. Yeah, yeah. Anything. Yeah. Right, four. <clears throat> we'll say, yeah, I think that was like kind of I four. Think you're being, she I tried think to you're get being, you off the phone four times. Yeah, yeah. I think you're being generous. Yeah. I'd say three to four. I appreciate your generosity, though. <laughs> no, well, I was keeping track. Like, it, it was... Uh, yeah, I guess we have to say... When they try to get you off the phone, when they're just like, I, yeah. I don't like, you know it when you hear it. It's like pornography. <laughs> you know what I mean? You don't know. You can't. Yeah, it's yeah. like, you know it when you see it. This is you, Brennan? Yeah. Thank you for calling the one and only Halloween Mart. For the remainder of the month, we are open seven days a week from 10 a.m. until 9 p.m. We are located at 6230 South Decatur. Well, you can <laughs> You got the whole thing. The whole thing came To place an order or inquire about our products, press 2. For any non-order related business, press three. For haunted house information, call three six two. Oh, this is the right type place. of business. Yeah. yeah, Halloween headquarters or something. Okay, I'll try. I want to grab some more Lacroix. Okay, I'll I'll look into. Yeah. Costume store. Plus. Kurt, what's a blard? I don't. <laughs> what is that? I'm very intrigued. Well, a blard is a, it's a traditional <laughs> hat used uh, primarily in the turn of the century by uh, by primar- by people who were dry cleaners and or hatters. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it was kind of a it was a hatters, you know, like a Mad Hatter that kind of thing. Is a blarn really that's a, a thing? typical? That's a typical hat <laughs> worn by a Mad Hatter. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. you're good at balderdash. That's aren't a total you? fake name. <laughs> <laughs> I texted Kurt uh, a fake name. I said I was because he didn't have my number saved in his phone, and uh, turned out it was a real guy. Yeah, a real guy that I know well, <laughs> who who would have a podcast and who would also yeah, maybe yeah. invite me to it. Yeah, <laughs> sent him a sick that, dick pic though. That dick that had to be a fake dick. Oh yeah, it's a fake dick. It looks pretty real. <laughs> oh, it's great. Yeah, yeah. It is an amazing fake dick. It was yeah. a dick. He just texted texted me a dick in between two bottles of Doctor Bronner's. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the weirdest place to put a dick. It's for scale. <laughs> for scale. You it's know what? between a little bottle and a big bottle. So you know, <laughs> you know where my dick lies. <laughs> He's a medium-sized Dr. Bronner's dick. Yeah, yeah. It's like as big as the small one, smaller than the big one. No, that's, that's a dick. I have this fake dick that... Uh, oh, you've seen it on the video podcast, if you tuned in, not to the last one, but the one before that. That was a fake dick. It wasn't my dick I kept pulling out. Um, but it, it also it it's a fake dick that pisses. It pisses. It's got a uh, it's got a tube that runs up through it and a little squeezy How thing. How much that run you? 
How much like that 30 bucks. 30 bucks for a dick that pisses? And they deliver yeah. it right to your door. That's amazing. Yeah, you don't have yeah, to, yeah, you don't have to go right into public. In mouth. <laughs> and, then, and then I they realized... They drop it off in your mouth. <laughs> I, I hired some shifty Russian movers when I moved into my uh, new apartment last year. And uh, had the box was like right... It was totally visible on the top of a, a box that they moved and said realistic. It says realistic squirting cock and has a picture of it. <laughs> and... Uh, Felt a little like embarrassed for a moment. Like, oh, now these guys think I'm gay. They're already ripping me off. You know, there's fucking don't hire any fucking Russian movers in Los Angeles or at least the one company rainbow or something. Fuck them. All I needed. The only reason I hired them was because I had to move my refrigerator. Your muscles are so weak. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah your, your arms are so spindly. I moved and weak. well. Your I moved a legs. block away from my old place, uh-huh. but I didn't want to have to hassle. I, I had to move my refrigerator, so it was just to move the refrigerator. You know, that's the thing that only happens in Los Angeles that they yeah. make you fucking move your refrigerator. Yeah, everywhere else you just get a refrigerator. That's what I thought too. Yeah, yeah. The, yeah. the first place I moved in had one, so then I was like, "Yep, that's how it is." Yeah, and then the next one was like, "Oh no!" It was in the same complex too, yeah. and I was like, "What?" I was like, we're going to take this one and you're giving it to us, okay? And they're like, okay, but if it breaks, it's not our fault anymore. Like, they were like, we don't want to take care of it anymore. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's if you don't live in Los Angeles, uh, apartments don't supply a refrigerator. So weird. It's fucking weird. Yeah. And these fucking assholes took literally like nine hours to fucking, like, there was other shit where I was like, well, if I have these movers, I might as well have yeah. to move the bed and stuff. And they're just wrapping everything in place. Like, they're the fucking worst cost me like three i could have bought a new refrigerator really <laughs> and had it delivered now that i think about it yeah refrigerators are only like 175 dollars yeah, i think it cost me 300 bucks <laughs> you could have two refrigerators you know, I never thought, now i'm getting angry all okay, over okay, again okay. but uh but then but i did think like ah fuck they saw the realistic squirting cock box but then i was thinking you know what if somebody was to say why do you have that a legitimate answer is if you found out that existed, how do you not have it? Like, how do you not fucking buy that yeah, as soon as true. you find out it's that it true. exists? And the reason I bought it was, or I, the idea might have been inspired by the discovery of it. And I'm still going to do this eventually. Um, I'm going to, like, I'll shave off my beard. I want to go to an open mic, like, completely incognito. Yeah. And just do really bad, like, just be, like, bad, kind of, like, you're, like, one of those New York misogynists, like, just, like, every joke's about, like, oh, so I came on her tits and stuff. And do a set ending with humping a stool, get real, get really into it, and then pull the dick out and just start coming all over the stool (laughs) and fucking high Can you make it look like you're coming? Yeah, you just load it. I already know what I'm going to do. You just grab it, squirt it. Well, because the bladder thing, the little squirty thing, is on a tube, so I can just yeah. run that up into my pocket That's amazing. and just. <laughs> and I know what I'm going to use. I'm going to use uh, the stain remover shout. That looks exactly like semen. Not in the spray <laughs> bottle. They have like a the pens. Uh... <laughs> oh no, no, not the not the pens. It's a uh, <laughs> it's a different. I don't know. It's like a, a milky white. It comes in like a, almost like a Dawn dish soap looking uh, okay. squirt bottle. But it looks just like jizz. Doesn't taste like jizz though. No. Nope. Nope. Two tastes. completely different tastes. Different mouthfeel. My... Yeah. yeah. Different mouthfeel. It rolls around your tongue a different yeah, way. Yeah. One's sandy and one's silky. <laughs> Won't tell you which is nope. which. <laughs> I don't know uh, why I started talking about the, the fake dick. Because I brought it up. Oh. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. So now anytime somebody leaves something in my apartment... I'll take a picture like, hey, you left your Boston hat here and it's <laughs> the dick on it. Spirit Halloween, it's Chris. How can I help you? Hey, Chris. Uh, you guys, this is, uh, you're selling costumes there? Yes. Um, uh, hey, me and my, uh, me and my friends want to go as like a group kind of thing. Okay. Uh, what kind of like, uh, do you have like team costumes or like uh, masks that we would look like a group, like Three Stooges or something or? I don't think we have any three stooges. We have plenty of masks that kind of go together. And then we have, I mean, superhero costumes would be the easiest way to go as a group. What about, um, what kind of, what are the masks that you have? Uh, we have a large selection of masks. We Such as? Horror masks, funny masks. So okay, what are some of the funny ones? Clown, I mean, just jokers. Is there um, 
Anything funnier than that? Uh, all depends on taste. I I can't see all the masks from here, from where I have to be, but we have several different masks. Um, okay. What about scary? Um, vampires, rotting flesh, kind of masks, aliens, I mean, all sorts. What's the scariest one that you have? Do you have like three scary, like three equally scary but different masks? Um, I don't know. I mean, that's that's all. The scariness of a mask is all really a, an opinion. Oh yeah. What about pirate stuff? Yeah, we have a bunch of pirate stuff. Is it like traditional or like the Captain Phillips type pirates? Uh, traditional. Do you have any of the Captain Phillips types? No. Do you know the, what I'm talking about? Yeah. Um, do you have, like, um, could I piece one together, maybe? Uh, possibly. I couldn't tell you for certain if we have enough stuff that would piece that together. Do you have, like, red short? like, do you have Hulk shorts, like, torn? No. You know, like, those purple pants? I guess they're pants. Do you have torn pants that you sell? No, we don't. Um. Do torn pants is I have a pair of new pants and rip them up. Do you have like chest plates? Chest plates? Or yeah. Like Roman. No, like the boot, like fake boobs. That might be funny. Uh, yeah, we do. Okay. Is it? Does it have nips on it and stuff? Yeah. Hmm. Do you have three of those? Uh, I don't think we still have three left. Okay. Yeah. What about wigs? We have a ton of wigs. Blonde. Yeah, we got blonde. We got red. We got black and white. Pete Rose? Pete Rose? Not specifically. Do you have a Pete Rose mask? No. Do you have any baseball players' masks? No. Basketball? Shaquille? No, no, no specific play- person masks. Do you have a Michael Jordan like uh, outfit? No. Hmm. What about costume jewelry? Uh, we got a bunch of costume jewelry. What should we be? It's me and two other guys. Um, the best thing for you to do is come down and take a look at what we've got and get a good idea of what you want, what your tastes are. Do you rent costumes? No, we do not rent. Okay, so it's all for sale. Do you have like a giant, um, oh, what about this? What if I went as like a soccer ball? Do you have like a costume like that? No. No, we do not. Any, um, do you have a pumpkin costume? No, we don't have a pumpkin costume either. Any? What about M and M's? Like you know those M and M? That uh, might be a good thing. I like think if we did, but I don't think we do anymore. What about? Uh, do you have any like? Uh, Cause three musket. Do you have three musketeers? No, we don't. The candy bar. No. Uh, do you have any like candy bar themed costumes? Because no, then we could go as three different types of candy. No, what we ab- don't. What about a giant pencil? Banana? Yeah, we do have a giant banana. Okay. So I could be a banana. What about, do you have other fruits? Uh, we have other foods. We don't have any other fruits. We've got, you know, like taco and I think hot dog. Taco and a hot dog and a banana. That might be something. Do you, but do you have like more, because that's not something you would eat at the same time. Is there something like, you know, things that would go together, like maybe a muffin? No. Do you have a, okay, maybe we'll then strike the food thing. We won't do the food thing. Uh, what about secretary, male, do you have male nurse outfits? Uh, sort of, we have scrubs. We don't really have particular male nurse outfits. Oh, you have scrubs outfits? Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Uh, so the Zach, the Zach Braff no, no, type? Just, 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 just generic scrubs. Okay. Do you have a Zach Braff, Braff mask? Or no. any of the characters from that? No. Do you have any new girl themed character like masks? No. Or we television don't. We have like no masks that are specific to a person. Oh, not even like a Richard Nixon or anything like that? No, I think we have an Obama mask, but that's about as much as we get specific. Okay. All three mm, that would be weird if we all went as Obama though. Yeah. Um Okay, capes. You have so you have a bunch of superheroes. So three, 
Okay, maybe we'll see so you have like Superman, Batman, Spider Man, that kind of thing. Uh, yeah, we should. Okay. Um, okay, maybe we'll do that. Uh, what about like font, the Fonz or Happy Days? Do you have any like uh, old timey like uh, honeymooners, anything like that? No. No, nothing that would really fit that. Are you guys open all year round? No. Okay. We're only open until the third of November. Does do you have a sale on after Halloween? Yes, we have a sale the first, second, and third. Oh, okay. So what, like half off or whatever? Does it get uh, like incrementally? Yeah, we have half off all uh, all items on the third, and then on the first and second, we have half off decor and twenty five percent off costumes. Do you have? Um, do you do any other holidays after that? No. Okay. Um, you know, I have a lie detector app hooked up to my phone. Okay. Um, do, is it okay? I just got it. Is it okay if I try it on you real quick? Uh, no, I don't really have time for that. Oh, sounds like you have time for that. Uh, I don't. Uh, so real quick, if um, you remember that show, What's Happening? No. You remember? Nope. Oh, okay. I guess the app's messed up. What's uh? What did you say your name was? Chris. Okay, now it sounds like it's working. Um, what's like the most topical costume you have? Do you have like a Kanye thing? No, we do not. Okay. Do you have uh any pops? Oh, you said you don't have any person specific costumes. Um, what about uh, like just a witch? Yes, we have witches. Yep, you, you have the whole thing. Broom? Like a, whole what? a whole what? Like the whole thing, like the, the hat yes. and and the mask and the gown. Yes. And you have like a witch broom too. Yes, we have witch brooms. Now, here's an idea. What if I was a witch but I rode around on a Swiffer? Do you have uh, Swiffers? No. How busy are you guys there? We're actually pretty busy. Do you sell fake blood? Yes, we sell fake blood. Fake eyeballs? Fake eyeballs? Yeah, like a, like if I want to have a fake eye hanging out of my eye? No. What's your highest selling costume right now? Uh, I couldn't tell you. I'm not here enough to know. Okay. What's your worst selling costume? What do you have the most of? Still have a, no idea. Do you have any animal costumes? Yeah, we have a few. Like, do you have any, no, for, like, for an animal, if I wanted to dress my dog up like Yoda or something? Yes, we do. Oh, great. Um, what about outfits for babies? Yes. Now, me and my, I have a twin brother, Randy. Do you have, a, like, identical costumes that we could wear? No. So you don't have two of the same costumes? We have two of the same costumes. You can buy... Multiples of the same costume, I guess. Okay, I'm going to put Randy on the phone real quick. Hey, Randy, he's got... Um, <clears throat> it's the Halloween guy. Oh, hello? Yeah. This is a Halloween store? Yes. Um, oh, cool. Well, I'm looking for a costume. Um, you guys have a whole bunch of costumes, right? Yes, we do. Okay, that's great news. Um, do you have, like, masks and stuff, too? Yes, we do. Okay, that's good. Do you have, um, like, super... I was thinking about being a superhero. Do you have superhero costumes? Yes, plenty of them. That's good news. Um, I'm going with, like, a group of people. Do you have, like, groups of people costumes? No. No? What about, like... Uh, oh, what if I wanted to be, like, Kobe Bryant or something? No, we don't have anything that would work for Kobe Bryant. Oh. Uh, do you have Obama masks? Yes, we do. Oh, that's cool. Um... I want to be like a uh, like a bag of candy or something. Could I be a bag of candy? Nope. I couldn't. Or I couldn't get it at your store. Is that what you're saying? Right. What do you think is like the scariest thing that you have there? I want to be like a scary something. Uh, I don't know. Scary is all a matter of opinion. That's true. Um, what do you think is scariest? Like, what's your opinion? Do you think like zombies are scariest? They could be. They could be. Yeah, if there was a good one. 
Do you have anything? Um, I'm not. I'm not a racist. But do you have any like racist costumes? No. That's probably a good idea. Do you have like a? Uh, whew, I don't know. Like, what about like if I was a guy? I'll supply my own vacuum cleaner. What if I had like a vacuum cleaner, and I was like a uh, like a witch on a vacuum cleaner? That'd be funny. Yeah, that, that could be fun. You still there? Still there? Hello? Oh, we just. Hello? Did you just... Wait. What Hello? That's. Hello? He just hung up. Hello? Did you do something or? No. He he, he... literally couldn't bring himself to say I gotta go. <laughs> he never so once he said. Had to, he never once said I. Got, he what was going on with that guy? I was like a what thousand. What is wrong with that guy? I don't, that poor you, guy. Obviously, we're just going through <laughs> guessing exactly. at things. Yeah. And he still sat there and answered every single question. Should Kurt call back as our neighbor <laughs> and say that? <laughs> Do <laughs> you want to? Sure, why not? <laughs> I mean, mm. I was. That was a thousand times more annoying than. So, so much more than, annoying. He never once said he had, I had to offer up the information that he was probably busy. Pretty busy. <laughs> yeah, I, wait, let me call back because I'll say that I came over and I looked at the phone. I was supposed to be watching you. Yeah, just put the call <laughs> Okay, yeah, yeah. I had the other mics muted, that's why, because okay. I was starting to laugh and stuff. Okay. You can tell them that we're twins and our birthdays are on different days. Maybe they have caller ID. They have sure. <laughs> yeah, and it just comes up with a one, three. Spirit Halloween. Hi, how are you today? Oh, fine. Great. Uh, listen, I uh, have to call up. I am uh, the neighbor of the two boys who are just calling you. Uh, were they speaking with you? Because I just saw their phone record, and I needed to call and just make sure everything was okay. Uh, no. I think they were speaking with somebody else. Oh, uh, could, could you find out who was just speaking to my boys? Uh, they're twins. There were the two twins that just called. I just wanted to make sure that they didn't do anything inappropriate. I was supposed to be watching them. I, I ran out to get a pack of cigarettes, and when I came well, back, that they were, they were on the phone, and uh, they've done some horrible things in the past, and I just wanted to make sure that no one was offended or upset. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess he's just the... Uh, I mean, I'm going to say no nonsense, trained? but he's some nonsense. <laughs> do you... <laughs> Do you think that he's trained that he's he can't say I have to go? You know what the best. Why thing wouldn't is? he say is or is he just a dude who just lets everyone walk all over him? It could be. Well, you know, here's what I'm thinking. This is a seasonal job. They might get people who are a little unemployed. Like maybe he's like an Asperger's guy or something. I don't or, think he was. No, he maybe he's a, legit. Maybe, he might be a teenager. That's what it could be. He could have been like 17 and been like. What do I do in this situation? I got it's an adult calling. He's got a deep voice for a teenager. Yeah, teenagers <laughs> can get deep voices. Depends on when they hit puberty, Brandon. Yeah, I still don't have pubes. <laughs> I shave them off. You shave them off. I'm totally bald and then you down tell there. Tell everybody. But I'm crazy hairy everywhere else. <laughs> so it's just like it's you, that's the thing. If it's you're like a real a hairy oasis, guy, an oasis. you don't know where to when to stop shaving. So you just have to arbitrarily just kind of make a like a, a circular area that's pubeless. That looks like somebody just burned you with a giant <laughs> cigarette right around <laughs> your dick. Yeah. A chemical burn on your dick. Was your call so long that we shouldn't do a third one? <laughs> I mean, that was, yeah, that was that super was insane. long. That was insane. Kind of uh, <laughs> took the wind out of it. I almost wanted to be like, you are bumming me out with how polite you're being. Yeah, it's kind of Once I started asking the same questions, he had a quicker response, but each mm. response was just one word anyways. Yeah. But he was still like, <laughs> nope, nope, nope. Maybe we're just kind of off on our crank phone call game today. It's no, just, we're not getting. I uh, just think like whatever the Lord hands us is what we have to deal with. You well, know? that's all. I mean, the Lord is in charge of everything. So, and you and know, everything. that's what I, I was happy to be brought on here because I did want to talk about the message. You know, mm -hmm. and it's just like the Lord br brings us together for reasons. You What's know? your favorite thing about the Lord? My favorite thing about the Lord is that slavery is okay. Okay. Yeah. Randy, his haircut. 
I'm gonna go with because uh, he's he creates he created oh, everything. That's, oh, what I that's so said. much better. Yeah. yeah, that's so much better. Because you got to start at can the I, top. Can I do it again? We can start over. Yeah, I'm, yeah, but yeah. I'm gonna say still that my favorite thing is that he created everything. Oh, I was gonna say that. I was gonna say that. So that's so. reserved. Okay. That's reserved. Yeah, I don't think you can reserve it though. All right, we'll Are we start going over. around the okay. corner, okay. around the horn. We'll okay. go since Kurt's our guest. We'll go first. Okay. I'll, I'll ask the question. Okay. Um, Kurt, what's your favorite thing about the Lord? Uh, I think my favorite thing about the Lord is that um, uh, all, all the makes, uh, all the uh, all the makes he he makes. He made he everything. Makes, yeah, he there. Yeah. Okay, like he made everything. That's Rant. so nice. I wanted to say that. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I like the fact that <clears throat> I guess his haircut. I go with his haircut again. I'm gonna go with um, because he uh, oversees everything. On heaven and on earth. That's good. That's, good. That's a really good. That's one. good. And everything that we do uh-huh. is thanks to him. If I could do it over, I would say the Lord. Uh, the Lord is so good because he is. He created pets. I, oh, but that's kind of I would Kurt's s- answer because he said slaves. everything in books. There. Oh. I would say books now, though. Because if he said pet, I would say books. That but if you say he thing. created he everything, books. oh, that that covers because it. Because pet, pets and books are mm. part of everything. Okay, yeah, yeah. Huh? I'd say because that's true. That's he true. always knows when he always knows when when to. Um, sp- uh, fuck, I don't know. I have a good one. Go 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 go. I uh, think one of the best things about the Lord is He protects me from the devil. Oh. That's really good. Yeah, I like. Oh, I got one. I like the Lord. Uh, he's the biggest daddy. He's the <laughs> daddy of all. Yeah. He's like a, a father supreme. I like it. Okay, I like okay. it when I'm uh, laying down, about to go to bed, and I'm like praying and stuff, and then like I could feel his hands on me. I love that. And um, mm-hmm. he tells me, "Keep your eyes closed. Mm-hmm. Keep your eyes closed." And I do. And I that's can feel, how you pray. And I can feel his hands all over me. And it's warm. And I like you the feel warmth. it for real or it's just like... You yeah, I have bruises. Yeah, I feel it for real. I love that. What um, I love about the Lord is that um, he, he blesses everything. So we're all blessed by him. I think Randy's being raped. Nah. By, by the Lord or by... <clears throat> my favorite part is when I'm taking a bath, okay? Uh-huh. And I'm like, I'm like, my eyes are closed and I'm praying... And then um, I feel the Lord get into the bathtub with me, <laughs> and it's like, whoa, yeah. not enough room for both of us. And it's Maybe like, you have to get out. And it's like, uh, well, I just have to sit on the Lord's lap and then uh, finish my bath from above the water. And then um, after that, um, after that, so you the Lord's taken up space in the bathtub with He's, you. Yeah, because I thought the Lord was more like yeah, I a thought he was more invisible. Thing. Oh, well, it's you just know, like, everyone's uh, different. You know, some people speak in tongues and they're like, rat, 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 you know, Brandy's too. got a good point that because like we don't, listen, uh, here on the Bone Zone pro- podcast, we don't judge anyone. Like if you pray to Allah or like a Jewish God mm-hmm. or mm-hmm. Jesus Christ, the main real God. Oh yeah, the main or one. Or one of those Indian, like a tree, or a tree. Yeah. You could be one of those like like mm-hmm. a Wiccan. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or you could be um, one of those like Hindus with a, like a, a elephant with a bunch of arms. Or if you just think like stoplights are really important. Yeah. yeah. You, it's Buddha, Buddha belly. Oh, Buddha! Buddha. If that. you're into that guy. Yeah, some people are. Uh, what's that religion? Baha'i. You mm-hmm. heard of the Baha'i? Yeah, uh, famous ba- Gazuntai. <laughs> famous Baha'i. <laughs> <laughs> you know, no, Brendan. You know, want to know who a famous Baha'i is? I came on the Bone Zone. I expected some high-level high drinks, <laughs> but I did I call, not expect that. That's a uh, get the music queued up, uh, or the Jaguar, or whatever it is. The, that was an official Brendan Walsh zinger. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Um, a famous. <laughs> Uh, member of the religion Baha'i is uh, Dwight from the office. Baha'i, there's a big one in, uh, in in Chicago. There's a big temple right on the water in really? Chicago. I think you guys smoked some uh, wacky tobacco and you're both a Baha'i right ah! now. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you are got it. You got it. You are I on. A, I have a big show tonight. Uh, come check me out if you're in Los Angeles. You can see me at the Tabernacle Tavern. It's on uh, La Cienega between Fairfax and Olympic. Uh, it's a $10 cover. 
but uh, the laughs are free. Oh, that is hilarious. <laughs> and you also do a, a mass at the end, right? We'll do, uh, me and some of the comedians will do a prayer circle at that's the nice. end before the show. But that's kind of run of the mill. Everybody does that. I know. I, th- I like that that's become a trend in LA. You yeah. Know, because circles? before it used to be that we'd all just finish up and we would leave. And it felt uh, empty, mm-hmm. you know, because you're like, oh. Another L.A. show with seven people. But when you do a prayer circle at the end, I feel like we all accomplish something. And it's, you know what? It's, you know, we, none of us would be here if it wasn't for the Lord anyway. Mm -hmm. And including even your raunchiest jokes. Like if you're, you could be, um, don't be shy. Yeah, just do it. I have have a joke actually about um, like smiling at uh, ladies on the street, which I always always feel a little shame about after I say. Mm -hmm. Uh, But then, you know, if I thank Lord right after I do the punchline, uh, that usually gets the biggest applause. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. Well, you can't argue with the Lord. If you're going to bring up the Lord in your comedy act, I don't Mm -hmm. care if you're one of those edgy guys and you're talking about cigarette smoking or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. But the Lord is overseeing it all anyway and it's like say whatever you want um i mean don't take his name in vain but don't, say whatever you want yeah and the lord is making it all possible <laughs> anyway if the lord created all of it like those more raunchy comedians you know who are talking about you know skipping school or whatever like you know they god created that idea in their brain you yeah. know so in a way it's kind of a, a prayer to him saying thanks for making me mm-hmm. and then you say your filthy you know joke i found a good tool for me is um, and the Lord's work is to bring more people to the Lord. So if you use a little bit of that vernacular that uh, you know a street guy might, uh-huh. it might lure it might lure them in, uh-huh. and then they're like, oh, this guy's talking my language, yeah, yeah, yeah. and now they're like on yeah. Christ Street yeah. with yeah. the old Rand man. You get more people in the church with candy than you do with just uh, feces. Yeah, I would yeah. like to. Uh, move into a house at the intersection of Christ Street and God Avenue. Yeah. Mm. That'd be really have dope, a though. Sick think about prayer that. Circle there. Rent yeah. is affordable. Yeah, the rent would be just like kind Like, how come, much is it? Eight hundred prayers a month. I can swing. Yeah, that. Come, yeah. As, come as you are. You that's know? really eight hundred prayers a month. If you break it down, that's less than three prayers a day. That's like regular. You know what I've found? It's regular. That also, if you self-flagellate while uh, while praying, that uh-huh. the, apparently those prayers count for ten prayers per one. Uh, my back's all tore up uh, from flagellating while praying. That's like a three-point line. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, it is like oh, a three-point prayer. Shit. You just so get like, like extra. extra. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know that. Because it's really great if you just have a tie. Uh, you can put some nails through the tie. Uh-huh. Just bend them, right? And then right. they stay in the tie. And you just, with every prayer, you slap your back. It you, takes a lot of skin off. And the more skin, apparently, that's kind of, it uh, It bumps up the worth of each prayer. So it's three prayers for the price of one? Ten, ten to one, actually. No, okay, here's a question. Now. Yeah. Let's say I want to do the flatulate mm-hmm. uh, prayers, right? Mm-hmm. And I get credit for ten prayers for that, but... Can I still pray? Can I still do my regular prayers after that? You though? can, but imagine this difference between 800 and 8,000. Yeah, it's like putting yeah. a code into a PlayStation game or something. Yeah, it's like, do you want to have. Uh, it's like, like a cheat code for It's not praying. a cheat yeah. code. It's not cheating because God loves it. He's Thing cool is, with it. Che- it's oh, like a surprise. God just is, uh, he's, he's self conscious about what he made. Mm-hmm. And he needs us to kind of pump him up every day because otherwise he gets down on himself and he makes wars and he makes hurricanes. So but God feels feeds good, on our prayers. Yeah. He, he, not only does he, he needs them. Yeah. So if he doesn't have them, he gets. And you're talking about Sad. you're talking about pumping up God. That's funny because I one of the tools I use when I'm doing my stand up just to to mm. create believers is I have a I have a blow up doll of the Lord and I pump them up that way. Oh, nice! And then uh, people think it's funny, but then we use it for a real tool. And um, I mean, I mean, a few times it's been used inappropriately, but uh, in the end, uh, everyone came to Christ. Came mm. they didn't? I mean, yeah. you know what I mean? Not oh, like yeah. that. I don't want to be raunchy, but. They came. <laughs> we got our own street guy. Oh, yeah. man. We got it's our like own street guy in this community. community. No, no, no. I just, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. <clears throat> do you guys want to do a prayer now? Yeah, I would we love can, to. Um, oh, that'd be good. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we can all, we'll just do like a big prayer and then. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> I'll get it started. Oh, you're going to take, you're going to, well, you don't have to do the flagellating thing. Oh, no, I was just going to take. Oh, do we? You you do prayers with pants on? Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. No, let's stay okay. dressed. Okay. I get what you're saying, though, because like a yeah, lot yeah. of us will pray before bed and and. Um, sure, I, d- I think maybe we mean different things. There's different churches. There's Protestant, there's Catholic, there's Lutheran. Yeah. I mean, mm. there's a lot. You name it. First yeah. Baptist, Second Baptist, Third Baptist. Evangelical. Home Run Baptist. 
church of latter-day saints is that a real thing mm-hmm. yeah that's the mormon church the Pol- oh mormon uh-huh. that's yeah. a thing yeah uh how about the, the church Harris. of christian science christian slater church of christian slater mm-hmm. that'd be crazy yeah do you uh, want to start the prayer Brandon? i'll start uh, yeah. i'll i'll start the prayer okay and um we can all pray we sure uh, we want to do this we'll just go around on? do you don't okay take we can take our off? pants off. well we, you're supposed to bow your head and close your eyes anyway so do what you do okay great. and i'll do okay, what i Randy do you Bradley. do you sammy sweetheart from jersey shore you do you yeah you and do i'll you. do me okay. i don't care what you do just as long as you don't do it in my house. Yeah. Thank you. I understand. That's that's a technique I learned from Jersey Shore. It's good to emphasize you where you clap when you talk. It's when you're in a confrontation. You're like, mm-hmm. no, I told you not to take the car. It it comes from a uh, from dog training. It's oh the really? Way you get dogs to stop doing things. Yeah. yeah. You clap in their face. Um, German get... shepherds for dummies. I read that in that book. Yeah. G S F D. Yeah. So it's get... what's on my bedside table. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, really? Yeah, German Shepherd. I don't have a German, German shepherd. Shepherds for Dummies? I don't have a German Shepherd, but I like to know about different types of dogs. And it translates. It's I like good to have, in everything. Yeah, because the more information you put in your brain right before you go to sleep, better dreams you have. So I have a really specific German Shepherd dreams almost all the time because of reading that book right before bed. That's, That's a good idea. That's powerful. That's powerful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's I think powerful. German Shepherd is just a, it's a really regal dog, and I don't want to be sound like um, I hate Jews or anything like yeah. that. You know? You don't. But the German Shepherd is probably you know the best it's a pretty dog. sick area. If you want to be dog. a Jewish, if you're out there and you're listening and you want to be Jewish, if you're that's, interested that's in fine. That's fine. your choice. Yeah, if it's your choice, if that's the yeah. way you want to live your life. Yeah. If that's We're your lifestyle. We're not going to judge because uh, the real, like our God, real Jesus Christ, the real, the regular the regular God. The real God one. He looks like, on everything. He's we like, don't, it's okay. Yeah, regular God doesn't hate Jews. No. No. Mm-hmm. But I, you know, if... Um, Jew God probably hates... Jew, Regular. I don't know what you guys uh, think. Uh, yeah, I want to speak for him. Yeah, yeah I want to speak. Who okay. would win? Who would win in a in like a wrestling match? Mm. A Jew God or uh, a German Shepherd? Oh, German Shepherd. As long as it was like I trained think, properly. I, I think a German Shepherd too. Like you're talking like a K9 unit German Shepherd. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, or like a, or a German Shepherd that was trained for but blind is there, people. Is there biting allowed? Because if it's a wrestling. Oh, match, dog wrestling. Yeah, because uh, dogs are hard. Like they don't have the uh, the same like. Uh, what do you call that? Like the the range of motion that we have yeah. in our shoulders. Yeah, it's like they're just kind of like stiff, like a like a GI Joe guy. Yeah. Well, let's do our prayer. Oh, that's and, uh, yeah. Let's um, and if you're listening at home, you can uh, join him with us. Uh, dear Lord, uh, and I guess we can go around. I'll do. I'll say like a section, and you say a section, sure. and then Randy, and then like all of us. Or we could all just do. A let's prayer. just all just get it over with at let's the same, do it at the same yeah. time. Yeah. Okay. 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 So we'll all just do a prayer. Um, on our own, but together. Okay. Yeah, and all if right. you're listening at home, you could just jump in too. So. Yeah, this will be like, this could even be a new portion of the podcast where this was just a prayer time. We'll just pray for a few minutes. Heck yeah. All right. All right. Okay, uh, ready? Yeah. yeah. Three, okay. two, one. Uh, dear, dear Lord, God, thank Father, you so I much for a love your really great hand. opportunity to bring all I my like friends together. Your, uh, and just I like you such to big knuckles the strength and, and just and I, like I want to thank our you. I with Food for your, on your love and your thin and fingers, your word, and it's just and like such a big presence. important thing. I like Smooth that. As I like thank you for mom and uh, daddy. Just, nails uh, at night when I'm just thinking about just, just what happened that day. Rock and roll music. It's, it's, I like it really torque. is a rock and important you thing in my life. When you oh, powerful Lord, my arms please you, and it's just uh, grant so to me. The so power to be a good that. person. I just want to say, and I love you so much. It feels and good. Of, uh, and you feel good. I do and Tomorrow, watch over and when I am at my big audition for any, uh, Exxon Gas, I really you want to come over. If you would look down on me. I, give me the you strength know, to get through the audition. The door is always and, uh, open to Jesus Christ. Get out Christ. there, make some money, the sell Lord. some more gasoline, and it would just be a strong hand. Super important for me and my I'm going to get that as a tattoo. I just love you so much. Please don't punish any of us. Are on me at all times. Such dad. a big, powerful thank Jesus, you. Lord. And, and then, thank you. Oh, I want to fuck you. Thank you. So, thank you. 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 Thank you.